I have a question for you. Ask me a question. Ask me anything. What are you using to edit your footage? Better yet, what are you using to stabilize your footage? And I'm only asking because if you're using Adobe Premiere to stabilize your footage, then you need to stop, like immediately. But let me explain why. When it comes to editing my footage or my photos, honestly, the Adobe suite of products are kind of a no-brainer. If I need photo editing, then I go to Photoshop or Lightroom. If I'm looking to add effects to my footage, I go to After Effects. But when it comes to stabilizing shaky footage in Adobe Premiere, it drives me absolutely mad. And here's the thing, I didn't realize how bad it was until I tried something else. And that something else was DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you haven't heard of DaVinci Resolve, it's free film editing software. Um, it's incredibly robust and it makes stabilizing footage in Adobe Premiere look incredibly archaic. So let's kind of just go over it for a minute. To stabilize footage in Adobe Premiere, you need to have your footage on your timeline. You need to go to your effects pane. You need to search for Warp Stabilizer, then you drag and drop Warp Stabilizer onto your footage. From there, you can adjust the parameters if you wanted to, but we're just gonna keep it the way it is. So from there, Warp Stabilizer analyzes your footage. Depending on your computer and your processing power and your GPU, this can take a minute. And the sad thing is, is when it's done, it doesn't always do a great job. Also, while analyzing your footage, you'll notice that your power usage is getting absolutely nuked. and anything else you may be doing comes to a slowdown. So keep in mind, the computer that I'm using is actually very powerful. It's a 12 core machine, it has 64 gigs of RAM, and it has a 2080 Ti. Okay, so I'm sure you're familiar with stabilization in Adobe Premiere. Let's go to DaVinci Resolve. You drop the footage onto your timeline, head on over to the pane on the right, click Stabilize, and you're done. Your footage begins to stabilize. And the first thing that you'll notice is just how fast it gets analyzed. Now the power usage on your computer is still up a bit, but for some reason, it's not as taxing on your computer. But that's the thing, it analyzes the footage so quick, it actually blew my mind. I wasn't even sure that it was done. And here, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna show you how Adobe Premiere and Resolve analyze and stabilize the same footage side by side. Okay, so this wasn't like a deep dive on how to stabilize footage in DaVinci Resolve or anything like that. This was more of kind of an announcement that I felt like I had to announce. So for the time being, my personal workflow when it comes to editing footage is gonna go as follows. I'm gonna data dump all my footage, I'm gonna grab my shaky footage, put it in Resolve, stabilize it, and then finish my edit out in Adobe Premiere. And I also feel like I'm actually gonna save some time that way. Because like, here's the thing, if you're saving time in your edit, that means you're completing more projects quickly which means you're getting paid faster. When it comes to editing speed and efficiency, it's kind of everything. But all right guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it or thought it was helpful. If you did, drop a comment below and let me know. If you're already using DaVinci Resolve, I wanna know your thoughts on doing your complete edit within that program. If you liked this video, remember to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I don't know why you haven't. Just do that. If you stuck around till the end, thanks. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.